I'm going to talk to you about beeswax wraps. We love them. They are so versatile. Um, no single use plastic involved. Um, so they're, they're brilliant. Right, so firstly, homemade sourdough bread, you know, lockdown special. Um, here we go. So the warmth from your hands softens the wax so you can seal it. There we go, job done. I've got half a lemon um, left over from my cocktails. Um, don't need it yet, not until tonight at least. Um, so there we go, just pop it in, seal it up, good to go. Nice and fresh when I am ready for that drink this evening. Bowl of beans, they need to soak overnight. So I'm just going to use this to cover them, stop anything getting um, or dropping inside it. Um, so we can soak them nicely. There we go. Just if, it, if it's not sealing, just put your hands around it a little bit more just to soften that wax up. Um, that's that. So this one we prepared earlier. Um, this is some um, broccoli from the allotment we picked four days ago, wrapped it in a damp bamboo cloth. Um, it is still nice and fresh and crispy. So I'm going to wrap that up again until we're ready to use it. Um, and then I will tell you what you need to do in order to get your beeswax wrap ready for the next time. I'll just finish wrapping that one up. There we go. Squish it a bit, soften it up and seal it. There we go. So your beeswax wrap you've just taken off. All you need to do to get it ready for next time, run it under a tap, just cold water. Um, if it's got anything on it, a bit of flour, just give it a gentle wipe with a cloth um, and leave it to dry and then you're good to go again.